Hi, my name is RJ and I'm going to show you how to export curves from Rhino for use in vCarve Pro for CNC routing. So what we have here in this design file in Rhino is a 12 by 12 inch box and a circle which is 8 inches in diameter, 4 inches radius. Um, very simple. So what we're going to do is select the objects you want to export, which in this case is our box and our our curve, our circle, and go to File, uh, Export Selected, and give it a name. I'll call it My Circle. And what you want to do, this is important, you want to select the DXF uh, file format to export. Uh, Adobe Illustrator AI files do not work correctly uh, coming from Rhino into vCarve Pro, so you want to pick DXF. Hit Save and say OK. The default options. Now when I go over to vCarve Pro, uh, essentially this environment is sort of like Illustrator and Rhino. Uh, it basically brings in a 2D geometry file, uh, like a PDF or a Illustrator file in some cases, or in our case a DXF file. Uh, so what we want to do is go to open and we want to pick our DXF file. You can see here that CRV DXF DWG, EPS, AI, and PDF are all file formats that can be imported. Um, there's sp special things that need to happen for each type, um, but for our purposes, uh, DXF will work fine. Uh, say open. Okay, so now this is our this is our file we're importing, and basically you can see right here on the left side we need to set up the job. Uh, as we defined our size, to, our piece size to be 12 by 12 inches, this shows up here. Um, we didn't have to define a material thickness in Rhino. You actually define that in here because this is where materials start to matter. Uh, so let's give it a thickness of 0.75 and set the Z0 at the top of the material. Uh, the XY datum position on the left here basically indicates where the origin is of the material. So right now our origin is at 0, 0 in the x and y directions. Um, and then you just hit OK. So now we have our piece in here. We can select the curve, curves that we brought in. This outside boundary does actually have a curve on it because that's what we imported. Um, but all we want to do is select this inside circle. Hit this little button right here to switch over to the tool path generation side. And just for demonstration purposes, I'm going to pick a profile toolpath and give it a cut depth of 0.25 inches and I'm going to be using a v, v carve bit, a 90 degree bit. So this is all good. Hit calculate. Okay, so now what we see here is my piece of material. This is the simulation tab. My piece of material and it's showing the toolpath that I'm going to cut. So I'll hit preview all toolpaths and there we go. So now I can see if I had a piece of wood that was three quarters of an inch thick and I used a v-carve bit, I could see what would happen on the ShopBot router.